Hey guys, and welcome back here to some more Factorio Building Big. And uh, we are gonna rock and roll here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go catch some bug heads on fire. So, I made some flamethrower fuel and uh, ammo, whatever it is. Uh, and um, I'm trying to research flamethrower upgrade one. They're actually, thanks to our uh, science cost tweaker mod, they're actually really expensive. The first one is already 550 of every science pack. Which is, uh, well, that's quite a lot. Now, I could put productivity modules, I think, in here? Can't put modules in labs. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This mod makes it so you can't module labs? God damn it. Normally you can. In vanilla you can module labs. You can't do that here. So our next best option is to module our science pack makers to get the most out of them. Um, do kind of like we would with advanced circuits is put productivity in the assemblers and then since they're going to be slow as hell we just beacon them out and there should actually be room for beacons all along here. Uh, here could be an issue beacon wise. Not not gonna be too good. I really want a similar threes, but I think those are pretty expensive as well. <clears throat> so uh, my my main concern here is that this is actually just not gonna <laughs> it's just not gonna work. Is is what the the deal is is that uh, without a couple flame upgrades, I think that we're just not gonna do the damage we need to. Uh, but let me go grab some laser turrets and still see what we can do because we do need to take out bases. There's a new one here here. Um, something over here, and uh, I'm getting really tired of being attacked, and also, I mean, our pollution is going pretty crazy at this point. So, do I have to be careful, and on top of that, we, um, where are my damn laser turrets? On top of that, gotta remember, guys, that, um, the biter thing, um, whatever the hell, the, the, like, the biter migration, like, spawning, is changed a bit now. You used to be able to just like victory pull, um, but now it's a lot more aggressive where they will spawn. Like, I've heard people say, um, people have told me, and then I've experienced it a little bit myself in another save game, um, where they'll just like come like right up in your business and just like build a base, just like right here. Like, they'll just come like right up near your base and spawn one of their own things um now the more entities you have there the less likely they are to do it but like um i streamed yesterday or i think it was yesterday <laughs> i already forget um and i started a new map and on that map like the dudes came over and built a base like literally right next to my steam engine setup it was just like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, it wasn't there. And then all of a sudden I look, and there's like three spawners and two worms just like sitting like right next to my steam engines. And uh, it, was, it was it was a little freaky, honestly. <laughs> it's like, good thing I caught it early, otherwise my power would have just been wrecked. So we do have to be careful of that. Now that is part of why it would be good to wall in. Um, I mean, walling this base in it would be a massive endeavor, but... I think we could do it. I need more wood in this man. So train out post mod still not updated, so we don't really want to explore past what we've already explored, um, since the mod won't be enabled. The upside, though, is that the save loads like ten times faster without the thing enabled. Um, but yeah, and more light still isn't uploaded up. Dated. I would just turn day on all the time, except I'm using a ton of solar, and then that's just pretty much, like, outright cheating. So, holy shit. Dude, that is so many worms, I am actually really quite frightened. Can I make poison? Of course I can make poison. Um, oh, can we do that with a turret creep? It's going to be cut close. I need to find somewhere to connect my uh, power pools, I guess over here. We'll try it with a turret creep. I will actually save this time like a smart person. Um, but, I mean, that that's a lot. That is legitimately a ton of big worms. 
So we're going to have to be careful with placing the turrets. Um, well, for multiple reasons. I mean, one, like, we need to place a ton down at once so we can actually kill the worms before they kill too many of our turrets. But then on top of that... I feel like I should bring a car in case I need to make a quick getaway. Um, but on top of that, I just need to be careful where I walk to place them because if I get too close, I'm going to get lobbed like twice in the head and then die. So, yeah. I mean, seriously, big worms are no joke. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Staying in the car is perhaps not the best idea, but... So, we'll place our initial thing here. Oh, you idiot. Come on, man. Alright. Let's, um... Drag these guys out here. Wow. We need some more laser upgrades. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, Jesus Christ. At least now we have a turret range. Which is fantastic. Um, so this should be able to hit these guys. Now I'm just going to need to repair this, though. That's what i got to be careful of. Wow, it actually made really quick work of those worms. Damn. Maybe I was, like, making way too much of a big deal out of this. Um, kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Alright, no biggie. No biggie at all. So... Now, okay, so that takes care of that. See, now, this is kind of funky, like, kind of looks like that this and this is in the range, doesn't it? But really, it's not, actually, apparently. Oh, shit. Pissed them off now. Actually, for a big worm, that, um, that dude doesn't do that much damage. Okay, so yeah, turret creep. Still a really good method. Um, unless you have, like, max flamethrower upgrades... Trying to do flamethrowers right now is not the best idea. Actually, that was just all worms in one base. That's not that threatening. Okay, so it's nighttime. I do apologize. More light is not updated yet. Otherwise, I would definitely be using it. Um, I'm kind of wondering if there's a base out this way. Top in the car and see. Has a little better light. Got some fog lights on here. Um, looks like there's no new base. We can't pick these up though. So yeah, you guys, uh, let me know down in the comments if you're enjoying the 0 0.13 update, what your favorite thing um, is in the update so far. I would say after playing probably five or six hours with it so far, my favorite thing is... Uh, shoot. I would be learning how to drive, probably. <laughs> uh, no, my favorite thing, I think, is probably... I don't know, actually. There's a lot of stuff. Um, the new flame mechanics, I really enjoy, because I just like the combat side of games anyway. And fire. A little bit of a pyromaniac. Although, I mean, who among us isn't, really? But anyway, so that... The new, the new train conditions are, are pretty awesome. The new rail builder, it's like... It's cool, but I feel like, I don't know. It takes some getting used to. And this stupid thing. Oh, shoot. That train station is almost dead. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Um, yeah, like, so. Okay, so here comes the train. This is really nice. This is like a better version of Farl almost. Um, what I'm looking for is like. This thing has, like, no barrels. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> um, I know I could just stick these on the belt, but, like... I don't understand why he's coming in with no barrels. I just fixed the freaking... Unloader thing. Like, an episode or two ago, I fixed the loader and unloader back at base for barrels. So I don't know, like, why it's not bringing any back. Because it should be loading empty barrels evenly. At this point. Do I have my car? Yeah. Okay, so now we need to head down to this other side where the dudes are hanging out. Um, yeah, on the stream I did, I was actually 
talking um, on Discord with Colonel Will, and uh, we were discussing, and a lot, several people in chat agree too. You know, I think they they maybe went a little too overboard with the circuit network stuff. I mean, I, <laughs> the, I know there's some of you guys out there who love the circuit network stuff and do a ton with it, and that's great. You know, the update was really fantastic for you. But I'd say um, how, I think it was Will or someone in chat put it, was it like probably like 75% of the update was really only useful to about 10% of the player base. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, like, like simple stuff, like the, like the train circuit condition weight thing is really cool and it's pretty easy to figure out, but like all these like crazy things you can do with combinators now, even more so and the, the fact that like everything can be connected, most people don't use, like, you know, Will was saying, and he, I mean, if you don't know who Colonel Will is, I mean, the dude has like one of the biggest bases out of anyone in the community and he's played thousands of hours. You know, he was even like, you know, he's like, you know, Circuit Network's great, I use Combinators once in a while, but he doesn't even hardly use them. And like Zuri, you know, he uses them not even that much. Like, he'll do that, like, smart robot loader and maybe some smart train stations, but he doesn't even use them that much. And it's just like, I guess that would be my main complaint with the update, is that, like, most... I mean, obviously not not all. That's why I said like 75% of the update was like circuit network and combinator stuff. And it's just like for someone like me and most other people, um, that's just like, it doesn't, I mean, it's not, we, we don't do anything with, with that anyway. So potentially I just killed myself. We'll see. See, so the trick is to get this initial wave out of the way. Because if I just tried to push in, we would have we would have had a really bad day. All right, so gonna gonna push up here, or just mess it up again. So things are gonna get a little damage, no biggie. Alright, so now we can move this line forward. Actually, I would say actually maybe one of my favorite things up there with the, the train thing is uh, this turret range. It's like so nice, you know, because I can just, like I did with that last base, we can just look and be like, okay, well, we'll just place it here and it will hit the stuff instead of guessing and then getting lobbed in the head by a uh, worm, even though your turret can't reach. <laughs> That's like the worst feeling. You go to put a turret and you're like, yeah, I think this will reach. And, uh... And then the worm just like almost kills you when you realize your turret actually can't reach at all. So it's really nice to actually be able to see. See, these guys can actually outrange. I don't think the laser turrets can outrange a big worm. I think it's about equal. Um. Wow, I must have quite a few shields. I only have two. I feel like the big worm doesn't do as much damage as it, for some reason, as I thought it did. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna, um, I know I said I was gonna catch dudes on fire. Um, next base I will. It's just, I need to be careful because <laughs> I need to do it along with turrets. So, yeah, I'm gonna use a flamethrower on this next base. There is another base, like, over here. Stupid bugs, man. Like, you would think at this point they'd get the hint that this is just, like, my planet now. I mean, I mean, come on. I think it's fair, you know, I've generated enough pollution that I'm, you know, I think I'm, like, a majority holder on, on this planet now. I've, you know, I've taken over enough space, I've generated enough pollution. I think I'm entitled to, uh, to just, to just take over, right? Since so there's a base, like, here, but I kind of don't think there is. What the hell, dude? What's what's going on right here then? Is there like worms that I can't see? Cause like when the pollution flickers like that, typically it means there's a base there, but apparently not. Alrighty then. Well there is one here, or something. It might actually just be worms now that I'm looking at it. 
Um, it does, however, look like we might have another base down here. Yeah. Um, let's start some research. Um, how much is this one? Really freaking expensive. <laughs> um, a simpler threes, I think, would actually be a really good investment right now. Probably a little more so than flame upgrades. Because we're going to need to, like, upgrade our assembler, or our science dudes to, like, level threes here. I mean, really, we should upgrade everything. If we're going to be completely honest. Um, great. <laughs> God damn it. So many worms. Flamethrower is probably not the best thing to use against the worm. I know it's dark. Again, I apologize. Uh, here, th this will light it up for you. This is a good strategy, by the way. Flicking your mouse around like this. Okay, now let's let's not run through the flames. Is this gonna damage us if I put this here? Hmm, interesting. Oh, get wrecked. Okay, let's uh add some turrets. I'm gonna save though because I'm gonna try to use this flamethrower on these worms, and I kind of get the feeling I'm gonna die in the process. I mean, the good thing about it is that it's actually going to continually burn them, so... Actually, if I have backup here with my turrets... That actually, that actually works pretty damn good, guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, all these worms, man, it's a little bit dangerous. Let's, uh, let's just... I mean, here's a here's a good tactic. Do they seriously not attack? What? Okay, we're gonna waste a laser turret for this, guys. It's gonna be our distraction. Go, 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 go! Actually, this flamethrower is really freaking strong. Holy hell! <laughs> oh man! Like, if I had more durability, once we actually get, like, a, like, um, more shields, I actually could get rid of this crap. So I get more shields, we could actually just run in there. Wreck some worm face. Oh, just one base again here. Rocks don't burn, unfortunately. Uh, nah, that's the right key. Nice oil fields down here, though. Damn. They're actually pretty shitty. <laughs> um, did the new map gen settings change this stuff? Kind of looks like it, because these are, like, complete crap. I think they did. You piece of junk. Well, it's probably because I don't have Train Outpost mod enabled. If I did, these would be uh better, like they used to be. I don't know, I was always, like, I was under the impression that, like, anything that was already, like, uh, revealed or, you know, generated with the Train Outpost mod, even if I went in without the mod, that the resources would still be the same as they were, because it's already been generated. Um, but it kind of looks like that might not actually be the case. Ooh. Thought we got rock from this. Alright, let's clean this crap up, head back to base, see if everything is going well. Um, kill all these rocks, man. They really are the true enemy. Alright. Hmm. I feel like starting a forest fire, but... <laughs> that might not be the best idea. Because it's gonna really... It's gonna make someone mad. Like, it actually generates a lot of pollution when you just, like, catch an entire forest on fire. And our pollution's pretty, pretty bad. Especially over here, obviously. So, like, one thing I wish that was in the game is some type of, like, portable power system that was just, like, easy. I mean, yeah, you can do solar panels and stuff, but, like, I wish you just had, like, a fusion reactor that was, like, not an armor, you know. Obviously, leave the armor piece, but a fusion reactor building you play, like, place down 
and like stick you know special fuel or something in it and it would just generate power without having to like hook pipes up through the steam engines because it does kind of <laughs> gotta check the trains it does kind of get um annoying having to run these power poles out to like the boonies run them out in the middle of nowhere here and i do have a car meanwhile i'm just like jogging along the railroad track here Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's head over and see what we got going on here. This video is almost over. In fact, I'm probably at like 30 minutes because I never pay attention to time. 20 minutes. All right, uh, let's go for a couple more minutes here. See, uh, see if everything's going well. Check up on stuff. Um, now there is, I do have, I do have an entire chest full of solid fuel. I'm going to go grab some of that. Because solid fuel will last those things like forever. Right now we're waiting on blue packs, which is waiting on surprise, surprise, these things. Which why is that? What the fuck? God damn it. I have to change out these filters. Now I can't actually replace these with um Who was it? I think Helltech posted in the comments in the last video, I can change these out for like a fast inserter because you can now connect fast inserters to logistics network and then I won't have to do the filters, but like, I mean, I guess either way. I mean, it's not really like one's that much easier than the other. So great. <laughs> I wish I knew that that was the case earlier. Um, yes, yeah, so we have solid fuel sitting up here. Tons of lubricant. Some uh, express belt would be pretty cool. Can't make it yet though. Grab some solid fuel. And uh, head over this way. I'm gonna grab some poison actually while I'm here because next time I go out, I'm probably gonna forget it again. Seems to be a trend here. All right, let's head up here. Some bricks. I've, uh, I wanted to make some walls is what I really wanted. In fact, wasn't I making walls up here? So, three of those. We're still on only two iron smelters. Pretty impressive. Um, why am I lagging again? Come on, game. Wow. This is kind of dark. Oh, that, that actually helps a lot. Apparently, I never fixed this train station. Crap. So, it's this one that's not good. It is actually perfect because um, that was the one with the only chest being empty. So let's uh, rearrange this dude. This is now completely uneven. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have to fix that. This guy can move over one. Um, yeah, just redo this entire thing. Alright. I'm a little bit lost here already. Okay, that should be good. Just had to rearrange him a little bit. Power pull messed that up, but no big deal. Alright, so... I feel like we're... We, I don't know, guys. I feel like we haven't made any actual progress on this base in like 10 episodes. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we have. We have like 1,500 walls, which is pretty good. Nowhere near enough to wall in our whole base, but... This patch is actually gone. And that wouldn't happen if we still had Train Outpost mod. But, oh, there... Well, I don't know if that patch is going to come back. Oh, it's too late now. Great. Good going, genius. Um, Yeah, I mean, I guess we have made progress. We're we're still working towards the power armors. Um, We need to research them is one thing. That's going to take forever. Um... Uh, I hadn't decided, I don't know if I did decide if we want Mark 2 Power Armor or Mark 1. Um, again, one for every subscriber I have. It's like 2500 plus. I don't know, like, it'd be cool to do something with our modules, but that's a lot of modules. And I think we'd actually be better off just using the modules and machines. Oops, wrong key. Um, I mean, this wouldn't be bad. This is still pretty expensive, right? 20 electric engines, 40 steel, 40 processing units, and 10 artifacts per. Um, so if I just whip out my handy dandy 
calculator here, um, and then I'll end this video before it goes too long, but I want to do some math with you here. That's not a calculator. Shit. No, I don't want to set an alarm. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Should have ended the video when I had a chance. Alright. So, let's just say um, I'm going to do as of last check, which is like 2550 times 40. And this is going to... So we need 102,000 steel, which really, I mean, that's not that much. That's like half a million iron. Um, we need 102,000 processing units as well, though. That is quite a lot. Um, and then we need about 51,000 engines. Which is a lot. And then we need about 10,000... No, not 10,000. 25,000 artifacts. So 25,000 artifacts is going to be a pain in the ass. And maybe that's why I wanted to go towards this one, because it... Oh, yeah. No, that's not why. Um, 25,000 artifacts. I might look into the swarm mod. Someone mentioned that that would add more. I might just spawn them. I mean, I think I'll just spawn them in, honestly. Because, I mean, sure, that's cheating, but, like... I mean, it's not that cheating. I mean, there's no way I'm going to freaking get 25,000 artifacts. We don't even have a thousand. <laughs> uh, that's going to take forever, but I think I think that's a good goal um, because obviously it's going to keep going up. You know, by the time we even get a thousand, I probably would have gained another hundred something subs. I mean, who knows how long it's actually going to take? Um, hopefully, more than a hundred subs because this will actually probably take an extremely long time. But anyway, um, it will be a continual thing, and uh, I mean that's that's a lot of stuff. Steel, eh. But 50,000 electric engine units and then 102,000 um, processing units, that's expensive. That's um, over 2 million circuits just for the processing units. So, uh, yeah, that that's going to be fun. Next time um, this should be done, we can replace some of our assembler 3s. Uh, and then we're going to really start getting online with that. I want to set up a massive engine unit production facility, which I think we'll do next time actually use up our lubricant and uh and that should be pretty fun so as always guys thanks so much for watching really appreciate it hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next but until then i look forward to seeing you all and do take care